Hello, I'm Troy Ledford, and I'm a product manager here at Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories, and I'm here to show you an exciting new technology, the color touchscreen display, which is an available option on the SEL 751. To start out, on the screen here, we have various folders and applications. The first application that we're going to take a look at is the base screens application. When I open the base screen application, it shows a one-line diagram that I have created. This is a customizable one-line diagram that you can create in a program that comes with Accelerator QuickSet. In this program, you can add up to one breaker and five disconnect switches to your one-line display, as well as analog and digital quantities. Next, we're gonna take a look at what the breaker control can do. So I've selected the breaker here and it has prompted me to enter a password to control or operate the breaker. So I'm going to enter the password now. Now that I have entered the password and gained access to breaker control, I can now cancel or back out of this screen and not change the breaker. I can trip the breaker or close the breaker. Being that we are in an open condition right now, or a tripped state, I'm going to close the breaker. Next, the screen has prompted me, are you sure you want to close the breaker? And yes, we are. As you can see, the one line diagram has updated to show the breaker in a closed state. To go back home to see all of my applications and folders, I will press the home button here and I'll be doing this throughout the video. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the SER, which is in the reports folder. In the SER, it logs up to 1,024 SER items that you can choose what is logged. Here in the SER, we can see that the 52B asserted, which shows that the breaker is in a closed state. We can also see the close command was issued to be able to initiate that action. We can also scroll through the SER and see all of the events that have been recorded. To clear the SER, I'll press the trash can icon here and verify that I want to clear the event history in the SER. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the relay word bits of the device. The relay word bits can be found in the monitor folder under the Relay Word Bits application. In this application, I can search for specific Relay Word Bits. So I'll search for that same 52B we saw logged in the SER. As we can see on this screen, it shows that the 52B is in a one or active state, showing that the breaker is closed. The last thing I would like to show you today is the phasers screen. This can be found in the meters folder and the phasers application. And on this screen, we can see the phaser quantities for the voltages and currents for their magnitudes and angles. We can also pause the phasers for analysis and then play the phasers for real time or instantaneous phaser values. These are a few of the many features available on the optional color touchscreen display on the SEL 751. You can find out more at selinc.com. Thanks for joining us today.